Shalom to the 12 lost tribes of the nation of Israel who are scattered God greetings on the rehearsal of the Shabbat day. So greetings brothers and sisters who are tuned in today. Welcome to the rehearsal of the Shabbat service and we're going into a very important topic today called Lies. Lies the denominational churches taught us. Are we a denomination? Let's open up with that. What, what is the word denomination? What does it mean? A lot of our people go to church. You got the list of churches right here on the, on the sign here. They go to mega churches. They go to churches in their neighborhood. They go to all types of groups and gatherings under a God. But is that the most high, your house plans according to the Bible? Let's see what the most high says in the Bible today. Today we're going into understanding of knowledge. Knowledge is required for us to understand the most high way. The most high is a power of knowledge, people. Now, the opening statement was, what is a denomination? Let's go to the Webster Dictionary. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Anybody can get this at the uh, bookstore, and it'll tell you right here. Denomination. Now, look, look at this. This is what our people are calling themselves on the planet Earth today. The word denomination means this. It says denomination. Uh, an act of denominating, a name, a designation. Y'all hear that? Who are you as a people? We were designated by our enemies. Now, and I want y'all to understand this. The enemy designated us in their church system and by fraud and by war and by lies. The Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans, Haitian Dominicans, North American Indians, are all our brothers, indigenous brothers of North, Central, and South America and the island of the sea. You have been deceived by the deceiver. You have been lied to. Now, the word denomination means a de designation of a higher church. What church group came here in the name of a God and took our lands and enslaved our people until this very day? The so-called Roman church. So all these denominations that you have amongst our people today, and you got the tribal deities down there in the Caribbean and down there in Central America, down in uh, uh, the land of Naphtali, down in Argentina and Chile. These brothers and sisters worship idols. But the main group of our people we're trying to reach before the destruction comes is those who are locked into these lion churches. So what? The Most High brought uh, Hanawama, a nation called Yasha Allah, Marama Yasha Allah, out of Egypt and these 12 tribes of e Israel that came up out of Egypt were given a law and we became a nation now today what happened to the most highest people called the nation of Israel how did we get in so many denominations and so many different divisions throughout North Central and South America and the islands of the sea we are designated by names and categories and our providences and the places that we live. Are you a Roman Catholic? Are you a Baptist? Are you a Seven Day Adventist? What is all of this? Let's find out today. First, we're going to open up with the book of Acts 7:48. Is the most high in the church? Now, the churches and the so-called priests. And the so-called laymen that we have out here today, they came to our people during the time of Columbus, and they brought armies, and they brought Jesuit priests to the shores of America. And these people conquered our people, and enslaved our people, and brought us in chains from the west coast of Africa. And so until this very day, we have been taught the concepts of men. So let us go to the book of Acts, chapter 7, verse 48. This is one of the biggest lies that they taught us that the Most High 
dwells in these buildings that they brought here with the big crosses on it. Let's read what the apostles say, if that's true according to their writings, the disciples of Mashasha. Let's go to Acts chapter 7, verse, uh, let's go to uh, 738. Acts chapter 7, verse 48, rather, 48, 48. This is what it says. Howbeit the Most High dwelleth not, you hear? Not in temples made with hands, as says the prophets. So when you go back to Isaiah chapter 66, the Most High tells you his throne and his kingdom is up there in the heavens. You are down here on this earth. We have been taught by these enemies who came here with their ensigns and their destructive behavior of colonialism and thievery and expansionism from the European um, empires of Spain, France, and Britain. And now today is called the United States, North, Central, and South America, and the islands of the sea, democracies, and dictatorships. When they first came here, these people came here as conquistadors, as conquerors. And they destroyed the Indian people and the so-called Negroes were brought on slave ships according to Bible prophecy. All of this happened to us because our forefathers did not want to keep the most high commandments and worship him. And we see the destruction and desolation on our people today. And he told us in the Bible, if we would not keep his commandments and his laws, the enemy would come and put us under these categories of men. Now, it says that uh, in, in the Bible also in Jeremiah 7 and 4. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 4. The prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah spoke to our people and he said this about our people. They warned us in the, in the books of the prophets. Old and New Testament teachings. Trust ye not in lying words. First, the words they gave us were lies. They gave us denominational teachings and concepts and images and insights of their people saying that they were Christ, saying that they were the Jews and the Israelites. They never proved this to our people. This was enforced and put upon you in captivity. After they conquered you with their armies, the Jesuit priests came in and enslaved the children of Israel. This is why the Pope, a little while ago, came all the way from Europe and came and to apologize to the North American Indians for taking all their children, <coughs> raping them, putting them in denominations, and perverting them. When you go to the reservations now, you see churches on the reservation, like this. You see denominational churches and you see some of their tribal totems that they still hold on to out there. But the majority of the North American Indians, to my great surprise going out there ministering to them, they were celebrating Christmas. They were into drugs. They had white people on the reservation infiltrating their people. You even got whites on the reservation following the whoredoms of the Indians out there at the Shinnecock, and they calling themselves Indians. See, to be an Israelite is a nationality. You cannot be an Israelite by conversion or by joining their whoredoms. If we bring a Moabite into our congregation, that's a Moabite. If we bring a seed of Japheth into our congregation, that's a seed of Japheth. They're still their Hanawamam, their nation of their forefathers. So our people left the laws of the Most High and the knowledge of the Most High and formed their own whoredoms on this side of the earth, and then they were conquered by the conquerors. And this is what they put on our people. So when they brought this stuff to us, Jeremiah warned us, Trust ye not in lying words, saying, The temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. So through their conquest, they set up churches 
all throughout the indigenous lands of North Central South America and the islands of the sea. And they put our people in here and put Uncle Tom preachers and teachers in there to teach the doctrines that they brought with them. And they had the Bible. But were they the ones to teach the Bible? No, they were not. Let's go to Job 24, 13. Let's go to Job 24, 13. Job will tell you. Job saw it. And Job was a prophet. And Job said, they're going to come and do this in the last days. Let's go to Job chapter 24, verse 13. He said, these are they that rebel against the light. The word light is Yahweh. He is the light. And it says, and they know not the way thereof. Yahweh Shah said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We keep telling our people these subliminal messages that they put in the churches and they put the words of the Bible behind them make our people think that these white people are coming in the name of Mashasha. This man is Caesar Borgia. The second son of Pope Alexander VI of Rome. He was a murderer and he was in an army and he killed millions of people over there in Europe in that army for those popes and those uh, uh, corrupt people at that time. Pope Julius II and the Medici family who financed Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci to paint these pictures. And when they got loose in the colonial period, they went out with their swords, with their guns and their dogs and they destroyed our people. And now today, what are our people doing now? Here you go, right here. Nor abide in the past thereof. The white man and his system of government does not keep the laws of the Most High. How do we know this? Prime example. They made laws for faggots and lesbians. The Bible condemns it. They made laws for when women and women and men to men to get married. In the Bible, the Lord says, this is an abomination for a man and a man and a woman and a woman to get married. And I'm going to tell you with something else. Race mixing is also one of the things that they taught our people to do on this side of the earth. According to Deuteronomy chapter 7, the Most High said, Israel was not supposed to marry any other nation other than the Israelites. Didn't they say that in Deuteronomy 7? The Most High said, don't marry into their tribes. Don't make no agreements with them. Don't take their daughters to be with your sons. And don't give your daughters to the nations. And look at what's going on today. This is what we're supposed to be doing right here. An Israelite supposed to be with an Israelite woman. Today, you got Miss Ann, and you got the Jake man. Over here, you got Janet Jackson and the Ishmaelite. Over here, you got a Negro with a Moabite. Down here, you got the faggots and the rainbow. They took the Most High's rainbow and turned it into a symbol of homosexuals and faggots. And now you got black men marrying white men. You know where you're going to end up at? In the damn AIDS ward, dying from AIDS. That's where you're going to end up at. And you're going to be dead Fred and dead Fred. Romans 1.26 on down tells you, you're not supposed to marry man and man and woman and woman. So these people delivered to us Lying words, and they don't abide in the laws of the Most High and the paths of Mashasha. Reading on. The murderer rises up in the light, kill up the poor and the needy. How did they do it? With their cannons, their guns, and their armies. From the French, the Spanish, and the British that came here in the 1500s, hunted our people down, because they were in whoredoms, according to the Bible, and they destroyed our people and put them into servitude until this very day. Let's prove that in one scripture in Psalm 106. Let's go there real quick. This is what it says. 
Everybody go to Psalms 106, right? This is what Yahweh Bashem Yahshua says in his word. Psalms 106 says this. And we're going to start at verse 40. This is what it says. Therefore he was wrath, wrath for this, uh, 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 therefore was he wrath uh, uh, of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. When we turn our back on the Most High people, the Most High hated us for doing that. We don't understand what we did in biblical prophecy and law. Our people turned away from the, the maker of all things, Yahweh, and they turned toward idols into this very day or the atheists. And he said this in the Bible. And he gave them into the hands of the heathen. You know what the, the word heathen is? It means nation. Hanawama. The word heathen or nation means other than Israelite people. Who are we up under today? The descendants of the Spanish, the French, and the British known as the Americans so-called white people. And, and so-called Uncle Tom Negro is always asking us why we talk about the white man. The reason why we talk about the white man is because this, this white man is killing us, he's oppressing us, and he's lying to us. So we have a right, according to biblical law, to uh, what the scriptures say, and the righteous shall contend with him. See, we contending with him because why? He's a liar. And no lies of the truth. So this is our armor and our battle in this time. The spiritual warfare of us turning back to the Most High and fighting this system in righteousness of the law and the testimony and the faith of Mashasha. That's going to be your battle in these last days. Not a gun and not a political party. Reading on. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them rule over them. You know why the white man hung you? You know why he took your lands? According to this Bible, the man hates you. And they tell us we're a hate group. We hate evil, and we hate murderers, we hate faggots, we hate lesbians, and we hate everything the most high hates. According to abominations. We have a right to do that. Because this world is filled with evil, and contempt, and lies. And we've been taught lies all our life. And the man that hates you rules over you. That's why there's hangings, killings, uh, putting bastard children into our systems, uh, race mixing. Everything we up under right now is subjugation. So the Most High said he had us subjugated unto the enemy, and the one that hate us is a white man. See? And it says here in John 24, 13. And saw it at verse 14. And in the night is as a thief. And the eye also of the adulterers waited for the twilight. You know what they did to us? They took our women. And I keep telling people this according to prophecy. They made our men and women go into the other nations with this democracy. Do y'all realize that? The sisters go with the white man because they are full of war. Let me, let me show y'all that. A lot of our sisters think they're going with the white man. Like, oh, the white man is, uh, I've been with the white man. The white man gave me an education. The white man gave me this. The white man, white man, white man. Y'all ain't got no zeal with the most high no more. You are captive, you're a homeborn slave, and a big wench. That's what we're going to been drawn down into. And it's a shame. This ain't nothing to be glorifying in. Let's go to the book of Maccabees and prove this. First Maccabees chapter 8 and verse 9. Moreover, how the Grecians had determined to come and destroy them. Who are the natural Grecians? The Greeks. So-called white people. And in the Bible dictionary, it also talks about Grecians being people of the despoil of Israel. So during the time of the Maccabees, 
left the commandments and the covenant and went and joined up with Alexander the Great's empire and they became known as Grecians. In this context of the Bible, the Grecians is talking about natural Greeks, which are Edomites. The Roman and Greco-Roman Empire rose up and they were known in the Bible as Esau. Those are the Edomites in Genesis 25, 21. That's his first empire on this planet Earth and the United States and their allies, the French, Spanish, and the British on this side is the ending of their kingdom, which the Most High is going to destroy. And they have all of them who are of the remnant of Edom and the other nations go into slavery at the second coming of Ashata. And it says this, And that they have acknowledged thereof, sent against them certain captains, and fighting with them, slew many of them, and carried away their, uh, uh, their wives and their children, and spoiled them. You hear that? You are a spoil of war, Negro woman. And the white man set this set up here that we have here today called the United States. And now you see our women being taken from us, turned into these colonial Negro women. And then when you try to get with them, they don't want to be with you no more. Because of what? Brainwashing. Educational brainwashing from the time that our sisters were little girls up until they grown women. This is why when you take these sisters into the congregations right now, and I've spoken to you brothers about this, what do they do? They give you a damn hard time. They say, oh, we'll follow this part of the Bible, and they wrap their damn heads up, and they turn around and say, but we ain't going to let you get too wise. I ain't going to do that. You're being a hypocrite. you got to keep the moral, silver, and dietary laws, woman. And those are the laws of life. But in the kingdom, like I always tell you, brothers, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until I rise up to the praise. When the Most High take this man down, then we're going to be able to keep the commandments fully in New Jerusalem, according to Micah chapter 4. And there ain't going to be no voices of rebellion in that day, because the law is going to come forth from Zion. Hallelujah. Reading on. The eye of the adulterer waiteth in the twilight, saying, No eye shall see me, and he disguised up his face. What the white man used to put on back in the colonial period? Ku Klux Klan hats. Do you know the Ku Klux Klan celebrates Christmas? Do you know they had their Negro servants in pictures and archaeology books celebrating Christmas? We were forced into denominational Christianity from the time of Columbus to the time of the colonial period. This is why I tell you brothers to get this book called The Religious Instruction of the Negroes in the United States by Charles Calcott Jones. In this book, he's telling you how they took black people for the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel and the rest of the tribes and they put you up under a denomination after they spoil your butts. And was it not written in the Bible we would become a spoil? And today our people are running around here thinking they're free and you're nothing but a captive. You're brainwashed colonial Negroes and Indians right now. And the ones of our brothers and sisters who are coming in here, we salute you for your efforts of coming in and hearing this knowledge and washing your brains out and being born again. Because many of us are not going to hear and many of us not going to come. And it's going to be detrimental to their own selves in these last days for being uh, taken up under the mark of the beast and the image of the beast. See what it says here? So let's go to uh, 1 John 2.21. 1 John 2.21. This is what 1 John said. He said this in his ministry and his time. He said, I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. No lie is of the truth, brothers and sisters. This man has lied to us about the Lord's people and where the temple is. He taught us 
go to church on Sunday and you're going to take the cross and be in there with Jesus. Where's the true temple of the Lord at? Let's find out in the Bible. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 3.16. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. What did Paul and them say in their ministry? See what it says here? Paul called him an apostle of Yahweh Shai, all the will of Yahweh, and the what? Sustenance, our brother. See, he was writing to the Israelites in those townships in Corinth, which was part of Rome. And what did he say in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16? He said this to them brothers that was back then. He said, Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? And that the Spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? You Israelites don't realize something. You are those peculiar people. You are the children of Zion. And the Spirit of Yahweh dwells with you if you return back to your maker. So your body is the temple. The white man taught us the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord of these, put us in these denominational so-called whorehouses, and that's what the so-called black pastor right there, and a white and a white man and his white woman teaching the Bible. And a woman is not supposed to teach the Bible, have the authority over the man, or be a pastor or anything like that over the congregation. And these people have set up Blasphemies all throughout the earth right now. And what did he say? In 1 Corinthians 3.16, he said, And the Spirit of, of Yahweh dwell up in you. If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple are you? How are we destroying ourselves today? Brainwash. Doctors and devils. Ideologies, philosophies of men. What did the Lord tell us about these things in the Bible? Let's go into more scriptures in the Bible and get this understanding. See what it says here. First of all, let's go to first Mac, uh, let's go to uh, Matthew 24, 24. Matthew 24, 24 says this. This is what the problem is. These devils rose up with the light and did this. Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false Christ. What the word Christ mean? Jesus Christ means anointed Savior. Maha or Ayayah Shah. So there were going to be false people coming to you in these last days saying that this was Christ. Didn't they do that? That's Caesar Borgia, people. This is an image that they pull up called Machiavelli's the Prince. The Roman Catholic Church conquered you, put you in denominations, and then they put all their ensigns. Let's prove that. And Psalm 74 into your minds and their books into your so-called congregations today. And that's why when you go over there and see the churches, wherever our people are scattered at, you see Psalm 74 on them. Listen to this. O Yahweh, has thou cast us off forever? Why does thy anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Who are the sheep in the Bible? The children of Israel. So David was praying in the spirit. And he saw this vision. He said, Father, I see in the last days you're going to be angry with the twelve tribes. He said, remember thy congregation. The word congregation in Lashawan Kodash means Tazawabalaya, meaning the congregation which thou hast purchased of old. Who were the old people that the Most High purchased coming up out of Egypt in Romans chapter 9? Was it not the Israelites? Yes, it was. The rod of thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed, this Mount Zion, when thou hast dwelt. 
So we were dwelling in Jerusalem under the covenant and the law, and we became a kingdom under David and, and uh, Solomon under the law, and after we broke the laws, we became a Tamawa. And we were put down into slavery and captivity according to Jeremiah chapter 15. Captivity to captivity, death to death, was forsaken Yahweh Bahashem Mahasha. And it says here in Psalm 74. Lift up thy feet upon the perpetual desolations, even all that the enemy has done wickedly in the sanctuary. What? They destroyed our temple in 70 AD by Titus the Roman general. Two, they burned down all the synagogues in Jerusalem. Three, they chased us out of there into the land of Ham. And that's where we ended up on the west coast of Africa. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi came on the slave ships to join our brethren who were here in the Americas, the ten tribes under the Ephraimites. Dan, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben, Naphtali, Asher, Ithaca, all them tribes, they were over here. Why? Because they didn't keep the commandments. What came next was the captivity and the destruction of our people. And that's where we are today, people. Thine enemies war in the midst of thy congregations. Here you go, right here. Who's in our congregations? These so-called white people. They roaring in there and lying to you about who? <laughs> they teaching you this guy, aren't they? I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Any white preacher, according to Psalms 50 and 16, the Lord says, what the hell you got to do to declare my statutes? Let's go to Psalms 50 and 16. What does a white man have to do to declare the most high laws when he's a thief and a rabbi and a hypocrite? Here it go right here. Unto the wicked, Yahweh says, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? What has thou to do that thou may take my covenant in thy mouth? You got two groups of white people. Roman Catholics saying that they the people of Jesus and you got the river rat so-called Jews talking about they the Jews. They the tribe of Judah. Revelations 2, 9 and 3, 9. Is it not written in there? And this is what's going on out here. So he said in Psalm 74, Thy enemies roar in the midst of thy congregations, meaning they don't took over, they took the Bible, they got the records, but they're not the people of the Bible. They put themselves in there and did what next? They set up their ensigns for signs. You know what this is? This is an ensign. You know what the cross is? It's an ensign. You know where it came from? Here you go right here. The cross, the Roman church, the pictures of Caesar, the white angel and the black devil on the ground. Look at that. That's a Negro on the ground. That's Rodney King. That's George Floyd and all the rest of the brothers that are lynched, killed, and murdered. They just killed a 13-year-old boy somewhere here in this country in America. And we are protesting and crying out for the injustice murders of the children of Cain that killed Abel. What was Cain in the, in the beginning? A murderer. He killed his brother Abel. And then he told the Lord, am I my brother's keeper? So when they kill us, they hold themselves not guilty. You're dealing with the children of Cain, which is a so-called white man. Don't give your daughters to the children of Cain, and don't let them be no faggots by the children of Cain. Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. And this is what they're doing to destroy our people, man, unto this very day, their ensigns. Look at the Pope. He walks around in the church. What is this? A orb of the sun, representing the sun god Ra. When they wore these big hats on their heads, 
that represented Dagon to fish God. So what, who are these people dealing with? Who are they dealing with? They're dealing with the damn devil. And they brought this stuff to us, and it says here, the ensigns for signs. A man was famous on Psalm 74 and 5. According to that, uh, he had lifted up the axes upon the thick trees. So what they did, they chopped down the images in the Byzantine Empire. You know who got a lot of our icons? The Russians. You ever see them medieval icons from the Byzantine Empire? Black Jesus. Black Moses, Black Joshua, Black uh, uh, Israelites. Uh, you see in there uh, the sisters that were back then there with us, all black. On the walls of Haggai Sophia, that big church over there that the Israelites built, there were pictures of black Israelites on the wall. And they took those hammers during the time after the Ottoman Turks came in there in the Renaissance period and they tore it down and plastered up their insides. And the cross is one of the biggest insides that they use on the church. Don't you see it on the church right here? Look at this. Look at that. That's the first damn thing you see in Holla. And they used to take Negroes and hang them on crosses and hang Yahawashah was hung on a cross. So this cross is the towel from Egypt. It has nothing to do with the Bible. So they took their insides, took their books, and they came with what? <laughs> Listen to this. You're going you to understand what they did. Go to 2 Corinthians 11 and 4. Did not the apostles warn us about them coming to do this? Listen to this, people. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. It is written, and this is what they did, and this is what they warned us about, and they said this. For if he cometh, preacheth another Jesus. Who did this? The European. Did not the apostles warn us? They said, if they come and preach another Jesus, Yahweh Shai was a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah of the nation of Israel. If Yahweh Shai was here today, they would call him a nigger. Like they call us niggers. And spits and spades and wetbacks. Because they hate us people. So when they came, they preached another Jesus. Who is this man? Caesar and Lucrezia Borgia by Samantha Harris. These people are not the most highest people. These are bastards and liars. And these are the ensigns that they got in every church and denomination throughout your neighborhood and providence that they have there today. And guess what else is going on, people? And I keep warning y'all about this. Come from among them. America's sex abuse churches. Y'all see this? This is real, man. They got churches in this magazine. A lot of people go to the store and they be sleeping on this stuff. Look at this. The United States is filled up with perverts. Sexual perverts. I'm going to read some of these states that are doing this. Diocese of Fairbanks, Alaska. 47 accused priests. 140 victims. Victims of what? Father James E. Poole alleged in at least five lawsuits to have molested countless children and was never convicted of a crime after this Jesuit paid five million to settle lawsuits. Poole maintained, I did nothing wrong. You are a damn liar. You're a liar. You're a rapist. And according to the laws of the Most High, what you supposed to be done to you? 
You don't see the white man doing this, do you? So are they keeping the commandments of Yahweh? Hell no. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Talking about they love God. I fear God. I fear God. You don't fear the most high. If you fear them, you keep his commandments. This is what they do. Right here. Rape. Any man. Any woman. Rape a dog. A cat. An animal. There's laws against that. Let's go to the law of Yahweh Bahashem Mashasha. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 25. Put this in your notes. But if a man find a betrothed damsel in the field, and the man force her and lie with her, you know what force means? Force. A gun. Grabbing. Beating up. Slapping around. Throwing on the ground. That is called rape. Little boys in the locker room, you go in there and you take them in the locker room and you put their head in the locker and you pull their pants down and rape them. That's rape. See what it says here? Then it says, and lay with her. Then the man only that lay with her shall die. Y'all hear that? The law of rape is death. Has this man paid for the rape, robbery, and murder that he did throughout North Central South America and the islands of the sea? Hell no. All they doing, and that was only one example of what's going on out here over there in Alaska. Where's your town? Who is your Roman priest? Or so-called Baptist priest? Or so-called Seventh-day Adventist priest? Or so-called uh, clergy in your zone what the hell are they doing to your children? You better go find out what they're doing to your children, man, and come from among them, according to Revelations chapter 18. Come out of her, my people. This, this message is for the 12 tribes of Israel. Come from among them, people, because these people are not the people of the Most High. They are deceivers, and they lie to us about the Bible, and we're going to be doing series on this so we can spread this thing all throughout the world, and many going to be offended, according to Matthew 24, verse 10, and many heads going to roll in the day of judgment, because the day of the Lord is at hand, and he's coming back here to put all sinners under his foot and destroy this wicked empire. According to 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, the heavens are going to be on fire. Sodom and Gomorrah, according to Jude 7, was set as an example that we should not live unyahawily on this planet with faggots and lesbians. And I lost family members because of this. Because of their damn ignorance. Went out there screwing Europeans. And my younger brother died from AIDS. The wages of sin is death. Whether it's in my family or your family or in your providence or in other parts of the world. This brings forth death. Why? Because these devils have been lying about the Bible. They said that they were the most high. He said what? If they come up preach of another Jesus whom we have not preached, the apostles never preach Caesar Borgia. Do y'all understand that? They never preach Caesar Borgia. This is who our people think that the Lord is. And when they see these images and these ensigns, you see white people as the righteous. You see the Last Supper picture with the white people eating dinner. Guess what, people? That's Caesar Borgia, Lucrezia Borgia, set up by Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Y'all got to wake up to this man. Because this man that deceived the whole damn world. And Yahweh is going to show the remnant the light. And we're going to go out and smash and throw down and hammer and fire all these lies on the planet with the word of Yahweh. Hallelujah. See what it says here? Or if you receive another spirit, wait a minute. <laughs> go to St. John's 4.24. St. John's 424. 
if you receive another spirit, who is another spirit? <clears throat> Don't you know the most high is a spirit? So if they come to you in St. John 424, it is written. It says, Yahweh is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when they came to you, was they coming to you in the spirit of your most high? Or the spirit of the damn devil? They came to you with the spirit of devils. The Catholic Church made the Baptist Church. The Baptist Church made the Holy Roller Church. The so-called Geno Jackass Church. He's another one in this damn increpid denominational seminary school blasphemy. And all these churches that Negroes are in, if you don't come out of them, the fire and brimstone of the Lord is going to come upon you because you got the mark of the beast and the image of the beast. And you're not worshiping your highway name. You're in another spirit. You're in the spirit of Satan. So he said, watch this now. Watch this. Going back to, uh, uh, Go back to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's go back there. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. See what it says here? Another spirit which ye have not received. Do not receive the spirit of Satan. Receive the word of Yahweh and the law and the testimony only. That's the spirit you got to walk in in these last days. Keeping commandments and the faith of Mashasa. See? But you have not received. Or another gospel. Whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> What's another gospel? <laughs> Let's go and show you. Let's go and show you. Another gospel. Let's go to 1 John 4 and 1. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. First of all, you got to stop doing this. This is what I, I understand with this verse. Everybody that's coming to you from these joints called churches, they're not spiritual. They're not of the most high. You got brothers in camps that don't have the spirit, brothers. I've been telling y'all this for years. Some of them brothers out there are just out there with baseball caps on, sneakers. Where the hell do you, you see me wearing sneakers? Look at this. I'm wearing a holy garment. The Most High said, don't go out there like that. You're a false prophet. And you got them brothers out there from splinter groups, splinter groups, and they go out there and they say what the hell they want in the spirit of confusion. Do not believe everybody you hear teaching you the Bible. Because everybody in Israel, according to this Bible, is not a prophet. 1 John 4 and 1 says this, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of your hallowed, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know you the spirit of your hallowed. Every spirit that confesses that Mashasha is coming to flesh is of the most high. This ain't the Lord. He ain't come looking like this, and he damn sure ain't come smelling like this. He's flea-bitten European rapists and blasphemers are the ones in the Sunday morning church and reports of them raping people all over the damn planet. And the law of rape is death. They're going to get theirs by the hand of the Most High Yahweh because Babylon the Great is going to fall. It's going to fall according to Revelations chapter 18 and they're going to fall. So if you receive another spirit Let's go back to Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 11 and 4, if you receive another spirit or another gospel. So a lot of us have received the doctrines of devils from these so-called whites. You see that? Or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might bear with him. You might as well go on. What is saying Colossians, man? Let's go there. Chapter 2, verse 8. Let's go to Colossians, people. Chapter 2, verse 8. The warnings of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, through his apostles. They said this 
for the assemblies of Israel. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, what we've been talking about today. No lies of the truth. Christmas is a lie. New Year's is a lie. Sunday service is a lie. The Pope is a liar. These pastors are liars. And they know most high going to set their behind on fire. See what it says here? And vain deceit. After the tradition of men. And after the rudiments of the world. And not after Mashasha. This is not Yahweh Okay? We throw this to the ground. This is not the Lord. That's where he belongs on the ground. He's a roach. And the most high said, what to do with roaches in your closet? Spray them with rage. So we're going to hit people with this word of the Lord because he said, this is what's going on out here. Believe not every spirit. You believe this. Go to Isaiah 8, 19. Let's go to Isaiah 8, 19. It is written, how do you know when a man is coming to you in the name of the Lord? We, listen to this. Go to Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 19 says this. And when they say so to you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits. There they go right there. You see these familiar spirits? Everybody's familiar with this. But, but how many of you are familiar with the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem? Has the Most High spoken to you? Has this word enveloped your mind? Yes, it will if you come to the straight gate, man. And many of our people got this familiar spirit right here. This is a lie. And unto wizards that peep. These people are wizards. They're witches and warlocks, especially in the damn Roman church. That mother. Should not a people seek unto Yahweh for the living and to the dead? So you supposed to be keeping the most high commandments from the time you woke up to the time you close your eyes and go meet your maker. Okay? To the law and the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. So brothers and sisters, we're going to stop here today. But we're going to continue in this series of the lies of the denominational churches that taught us and these pastors. This will save your life from the day of wrath coming from your hollow. Repent, as it says in Mark chapter 1, verse 13 and 14, and believe in the gospel. And Yahweh is coming back here according to the Bible to save them that are lost. Who is that? The lost tribes of Israel. Those of you that are answering the calling, come in and come out of the rain because the day of the Lord is at hand. And y'all know what time it is. Hosea chapter 10 verse 12. It's time for you to seek the most high's counsel until he come and arise upon you with righteousness. Shalah wa ma la wa Allah, meaning peace be unto you in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Mashasha, and Kwam Yashor Allah. Peace be unto you.